Footage has emerged of Syrian children from government-controlled areas returning to school this week. In the capital Damascus, President Bashar al-Assad's regime reportedly insisted on starting the academic year on time, despite the ongoing civil war, which has displaced millions of Syrians from their homes and claimed the lives of over 100,000 people. However, the site of schools opening in Damascus is not representative of the situation across the country. British charity Save the Children estimates that hundreds of thousands of pupils have left school over the past two years due to violence, while many schools have been closed due to damage. One of the biggest challenges first is that about a fifth of the schools in Syria have been damaged or out of service. Some of them are used as shelters. About 1,000 of them are used as shelters. About uh, maybe 2 million uh, children in Syria uh, are out of school, including those who went uh, as refugees outside of the country. You know, uh, about a month ago, uh, a million uh, of children are now counted as refugees outside of Syria. A stalemate both internationally and domestically has emerged regarding the future of Syria. Russia and the United States continue to haggle over the demilitarization of Syria's nuclear arsenal, while the Syrian deputy prime minister has reportedly called for a ceasefire to put a stop to the violence and growing death toll, which includes hundreds of children.